So we're going to talk about catapult gliders now and some of the nuances of, of trimming and flying catapult gliders. And as you can see, this is a lot smaller. And I think Mr. Stalick built a scout in the building instructions. And this wing is, is, is basically a scout wing, but he has an extra dihedral joint. The, the dihedral joints are a little different and it has a dethermalizer on it, but this is very similar to the scout that, that uh, Bob Stalick used in the video. Now, I want to do a close-up on a couple of things. Unlike the tip launch glider, the wing needs to be glued on absolutely straight on the tip on the on the catapult glider. It needs to be centered on there very straight. The stabilizer needs to be centered on very straight, and it has to be built with a little bit of stab tilt. So this this glider glides to the left if you're a right-handed person it's going to glide to the left and so the stabilizer on this is up on the left side that adds left rudder turn you also will have a little bit of a rudder tab to the left and the combination of the rudder tab and the stab tilt up on the left side gives you the proper amount of turn the reason you do the stabilizer tilt in addition to the rudder turn is you don't have to use as much rudder turn when you have the stabilizer tilt and the stabilizer tilt does not cause the glider to spin in as much as rudder turn does. If you try to have your airplane, catapult airplane, turn exclusively because of, of rudder turn, you're risking the possibility of spinning in in a thermal, which is basically having the turn get tighter and tighter and tighter and just come in like this and spin in. So part stabilizer tilt up on the side you want to turn towards, so on this one left, and a little bit of rudder turn to the left is the ticket that you want for your turn on this. Now your balancing point is going to be further back. It's going to be about 60 percent, and again it's windy so it's hard to see this, but it's right about there on the wing is where you're balancing point is. It's, it's um, about 60 percent back from the front. So if this is the middle, it's behind that. And this one's balanced pretty close to proper. So just as we did on the tip launch glider, we're going to do a test glide on this airplane. And the reason we do the test glide is to make sure it has enough incidence, which means it has the tail up enough. And what that will do is that will keep it from going straight up and straight down. We want that smooth transition on top and we just want to make sure it has enough incidence. Now, the tip launch glider, we glided hard to the right because they glide right. Well, these glide left, so I'm going to try to do it hard to the left. And what we're looking for is for the glider to come around the corner like this on the test glide and have the nose up a little bit. If it comes around the corner and the nose goes down, we need to turn the incidence screw out to give it more incidence. So we'll do a test glide on this to the left. And, and one more thing, most people when they test glide, they just do a little light test glide. With the, what I'm saying is I want you to do it kind of hard so it'll go around the corner and we can see what, what it does. Now it's gonna dip right there and then the nose comes up. And that's perfect. So you'll notice on that test flight, the airplane went to the left, and as it came around the corner, the nose popped up once, and then it leveled off, and it popped up a second time. That assures us that we have enough incidents to go ahead and make our first launch on this airplane and have it be safe enough to transition on top. And don't be afraid if it's a little loopy and has too much incidence, because that's not going to harm your airplane. What's going to harm it is if it's so small amount of incidents that it goes straight up and straight down and crashes and we want to avoid that because we know you spent a lot of time working on it. Okay we're going to get ready to have Sam do a launch on this glider now. Because we glided it, it went slightly to the left which is the proper turn and it looked like the nose came up a little bit when, when we were test gliding it so I think we've got the proper amount of incidents to make it tr uh, transition on top. And what I'm going to do is just I'm not going to launch it, I'm just going to kind of hold it here and show what it should look like. And, and Sam will do something similar to this. You want to get the, the rubber around the front and you hold it in your left hand 
it's very important to make your left arm stiff and you point you're going to put your left arm up where you want the glider to go so i usually put my legs apart a little bit i kind of lean back like this i'll put the left arm up and, and keep it stiff and then I'll, I'll look at the glider and the angle that the glider's on then I'll just pull straight back like this and let go. I'm not going to do it right now but this is what it'll look like when he launches something like that. Now what I want to say is the speed that these gliders come off of this rubber is so fast that the minutest adjustment is going to be magnified. If you have a little bit too much rudder turn or you hold it a little bit too much to the left or to the right or not up enough, it's going to be magnified. So you're going to, your first couple launches, you're going to want to find what works best for this glider. This one might need a little bit more to the right. It might need a little more straight up. But you, what I would suggest you do as you trim these gliders, make notes. Say glider, the yellow and black one needs to be a little bit steep and to the right. I mean, I make notes on mine so I know because they're, they're not all exactly the same and the speed coming out of my hand is so fast, I want to make sure I have that angle right. If I need to pick that out of the box and fly it in a contest, I want to know what this one does. So we're going to have Sam go ahead and launch this and we'll look at his launch angle and how he holds it uh, and we'll see how that goes. So Sam, go ahead and set the DT and do your thing. Nice. So his launch angle was very similar to what I just talked about. The glider went up and it transitioned smooth on top and it's going into its glide. So you can see that after just a couple of test glides and proper building and adjusting, that glider is flying well at this point. So we're back after a retrieval on that last flight that Sam took and just to reinforce on his launch, the launch angle was like this and the glider went up slightly to the left came around like this the left tip came up and it came around and came out flat on top like that and then went into the glide what you want on your launches whether it's a tip launch glider or it's a catapult glider at the top you want it flat like this and still you don't want it like this and then taking a dip. You don't want it back here or over here. You want it as flat as possible. So when it goes up, it goes up, comes around, goes like this and comes flat and still and then goes into the glide. That's what you're after. And it's, and it's important to work on that and make the minor adjustments of a little bit of nose weight, a little bit of incidence more or less, uh, and a little bit of rudder, you know, changing those things slightly. This glider is very close to being contest ready. Now the last thing I want to talk about in conclusion of our little lesson today on how to trim gliders is that I've been doing this for a long, long time and I will tell you in life there are very few things that are more enjoyable than flying small gliders. To go out on a Saturday and with three of these little guys that you built and put them in thermals and watch them fly around for two minutes and DT and come down is an incredible experience. The tip launch gliders, being able to build those and throw those, there's really no excuse. I don't care how young you are or how old you are, you can fly those gliders and there's no more enjoyable aspect of free flight model airplanes than small glider flying. So thank you for being part of the video today and